Gallbladder. Your gallbladder is a tiny pear-shaped sac tucked under your liver that acts like a storage tank for bile, which is a digestive juice that helps break down fatty foods. When you eat a greasy burger, your gallbladder squeezes out bile into your intestines to help with digestion. But here's the crazy part. You don't actually need it. If it's removed, usually due to painful gallstones, your liver simply drips bile directly into your gut. Most people live completely normal lives afterward, though some may need to avoid enormous fatty meals that can cause diarrhea since the bile flow isn't as regulated. Spleen. This fist-sized organ hidden behind your left ribs is like your body's blood filter and infection fighter. It removes old blood cells and helps battle bacteria. But car crashes, diseases, or even infections can sometimes damage it beyond repair. Without a spleen, your liver and lymph nodes handle the work, but you become slightly more vulnerable to nasty infections like pneumonia. Doctors often recommend extra vaccines and sometimes antibiotics for prevention. The cool part? You'd never notice it's gone in your day-to-day -day life. Appendix. For years, scientists thought this little worm-shaped pouch attached to your large intestine was completely useless. While we're still not entirely sure what it does, because some scientists say that it might store good gut bacteria, we do know one thing. You won't miss it when it's gone. In fact, removing an inflamed appendix is one of the most common emergency surgeries. Afterward, people experience zero differences in digestion or health. Some research suggests it might play a minor role in immunity, but your body has plenty of other defenses. Kidney. You're born with two kidneys, but you only need one to survive. These hard-working organs filter waste from your blood, balance fluids, and control blood pressure. If you donate a kidney or lose one to disease, the remaining kidney actually grows slightly larger to handle the extra work. The only catch? You'd want to protect that single precious kidney since kidney disease becomes riskier without a backup. Stomach. Your stomach isn't just a food bag. It turns meals into a soup-like mixture and starts digesting proteins. But in extreme cases, like stomach cancer, surgeons can remove part or even all of it. Afterward, your esophagus gets connected directly to your small intestine. Patients eat many small meals, since there's no storage space, and need vitamin B12 shots, since stomach acids help absorb it. While it takes adjustment, people can maintain healthy weights and live active lives. Colon. This five-foot-long tube is your body's water recycler. It absorbs fluids from waste before it exits. When damaged by cancer or diseases like ulcerative colitis, surgeons can remove sections or even the entire colon. If it's fully removed, patients either get an ostomy bag, which is an external pouch for waste, or a surgical reroute where the small intestine takes over. While bathroom habits change, they might become more frequent and some people might have looser stools. Most people adapt surprisingly well with dietary tweaks, like eating more binding foods like bananas and rice. Reproductive organs. For women, a uterus removal ends periods in pregnancy but doesn't instantly cause menopause if ovaries remain. Removing ovaries, however, triggers sudden menopause since they produce estrogen. Men who lose testicles from cancer or injury need testosterone therapy to maintain energy, muscle mass, and sex drive. Luckily, modern hormone replacements can nearly eliminate symptoms, allowing full, active lives. Thyroid. This butterfly-shaped gland in your neck is your metabolism's thermostat, controlling energy, weight, and even body temperature. If damaged by cancer or autoimmune disease, removing it means taking one daily hormone pill, like Synthroid, for life. Get the dose right, and you'll feel completely normal. Miss doses, though, and you'll feel sluggish and cold. Lung. Your lungs are like a pair of balloons. If one is damaged by cancer or disease, surgeons can remove it entirely. The remaining lung expands to fill the space, and while you might get winded faster during exercise, many people live active lives with just one. Adrenal glands. Tucked like little hats on top of your kidneys, these two glands are your body's emergency response team. They pump out life-saving hormones like cortisol, adrenaline, and aldosterone. If both are removed due to tumors, you'll need daily hormone pills to replace them. But otherwise, life goes on normally. Tonsils. Those fleshy lumps at the back of your throat are your first line of defense against germs you breathe or swallow. They trap bacteria and viruses, but sometimes they overdo it. When tonsils get infected repeatedly, like with strep throat, turning swallowing into a razor blade experience, doctors can remove them in a quick surgery. Here's the surprise. Your immune system doesn't miss them. Other immune tissues, like lymph nodes, take over the duty, and kids who get tonsillectomies don't catch more colds than anyone else. Bladder. Your bladder is like a stretchy muscular balloon that holds urine until you're ready to go. But if cancer or disease damages it beyond repair, surgeons have two clever solutions. 
1. Build a new bladder using a piece of intestine called a neobladder, which acts like a natural replacement. Or 2. Reroute urine to a small, external pouch called urostomy bag that collects it discreetly under your clothes. While it takes time to adjust and learn to empty the neobladder or change the bag, most patients regain full, active lives. Modern urostomy bags are odor-proof and barely noticeable, and neobladders can even let you pee normally. Pancreas. Tucked behind your stomach, this organ wears two vital hats. It makes insulin to keep your blood sugar stable, and it pumps out enzymes to break down food in your gut. If half needs removal due to tumors or cysts, the remaining pancreas often keeps both systems running smoothly. No diabetes, no digestion issues. But if the entire pancreas is lost, here's the deal. Insulin shots or pumps replace blood sugar control. Enzyme pills taken with meals handle digestion. While it's a lifelong adjustment, people live full lives post-surgery, eating normally, exercising, even thriving. Coccyx, this small curved bone at the base of your spine acts like a tiny seat cushion, connecting to muscles and ligaments that support your pelvis. While it provides slight support when sitting, people can have it surgically removed, usually due to chronic pain from injuries or childbirth, with no major consequences. Without it, you might notice less discomfort when sitting for long periods, but otherwise, your balance, movement, and daily life stay completely normal. Larynx, this hollow tube in your throat isn't just for talking, it's the gatekeeper that that keeps food out of your lungs when you swallow. If removed due to cancer, surgeons create a new airway through a hole in your neck. While you lose your natural voice, modern solutions like electrolarynx devices or tracheoesophageal speech let people speak again. Eating works normally too, just no more singing in the shower. More videos like this one are coming up soon. Subscribe and stay tuned.